Hello, I hope you're doing well and staying safe at home and you're trying really hard with all your home learning. Today we're going to learn a new skill called column addition. Okay, so for today's lesson you're going to need some paper and a pencil. However, I'm going to use a pen just so you're able to see it a lot better. So, the reason we use column addition is because it's a more efficient method to add larger numbers together. The way we do it is really simple. I'm going to take the calculation 12 add 33. Now, I could use another method, such as using it on a number line or mentally, however, this really helps me. So I'm gonna simply write down number 12 first. I'm gonna remember this is my tens column and this is my ones column. I'm then gonna line number 33 underneath the same one. 30. Three, making sure that my tens are in the same column and my ones are in the same column. I'm then gonna put an addition sign there to remind myself that I'm adding these two numbers together. After that, I'm gonna draw two lines underneath. This looks like a big equal sign because this is where we're going to be writing our answer. Now, I'm gonna use this to help us a little bit. Now let's start, we had 12 which is one ten and two ones. In the ones column, I'm gonna add three more ones. And I have one, two, three, four, five ones now. So we know that two add three equals five. Okay. And then we're going to go to our tens column. I've got one tens. I'm going to add another set three tens. One tens, two tens, three tens. Let's count how many tens we have together now. One tens, two tens, three tens, four tens. Four tens is 40. So I'm going to make sure it's underneath the tens column. We always make sure all our ones are in the same line and all our tens are. Now I know that 12 add 33 is 45 because I've made sure they're all in the same place value column. Okay, let's move this to the side and try this again. I'm gonna do the calculation 45 add 31. Can you remember the very first step that we do when we change it into a column addition? That's right, we write our numbers down one underneath each other, making sure that our tens stay in the same column and our ones stay in the same column. We then put an addition sign because we are adding there and we draw two lines underneath to represent the equal sign. Now, can you remember which column we start with? Do we start with the ones? Or do we start with the tens? That's right, we always start with the ones. So five add one is six. Well done if you've got that. Let's try this one. Four tens add three tens. Now if I'm not too sure, I can swap it out. So I just say four add three, put it together, is seven. So if I know four add three is seven, I know four tens add three tens is seven tens. Therefore, we know 45 add 31 is 76. Now, sometimes we have numbers that end up being more than 10, and that's where we have to be very careful with our place value. Let's try one together. We're going to do 56 add 35 now. Again, we're going to exactly, um, set it out exactly the same way we did before. We're going to do 56 and 35 under one another, making sure our tens are in the same column and our ones are in the same column. We're again going to put an addition sign here and draw two lines underneath for our equal sign. Let's bring our whiteboard back. We're gonna bring this here. Okay, 
So we're going to start with 56. There are how many tens in 56? Look, there are five tens. Well done. One, two, three, four, five tens. And how many ones? There are six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to add our ones up first. So we've got six already. How many more am I going to add? Five, because it is in the ones column. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many of these we have got all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Oh no, I've only got space to write one number in there. What could I do to help me with this? I know. What if I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these and swap it for a tens instead. I'm going to keep this one down here to remind myself that was an extra one. How many ones have I got now? I have one. So I'm going to put one there and I'm going to put a little one underneath to remind me to use it later. Okay. Now let's have a look here. We have five tens, which we had at the beginning. And how many tens are we adding now? Three. Well done. One, two, three. Now let's count how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can write, but we've got to remember that extra one that we had from our ones as well. So eight, nine and i'm going to cross that one out just to remind myself that i've used that one already so now we know that 56 add 35 is 91. now that one was quite tricky because we had to change it over so let's move this over here now we've practiced together i have some questions for you to try all on your own there are starts off with just some simple column addition ones that have already been set out for you. Then underneath there's some challenges ones. These are the ones that change over where the ones is, ends up being bigger than the tens. You have to be careful to carry in over. And then afterwards, I've got a special word problem for you to try. Have a go now and pause the video to do your working out. Okay, so now you've had a try it, let's try and find the answers together. I'm going to again label them tens and ones so I don't forget. So we've got our ones and we've got our tens. One add three is four. Three tens add two tens. Three add two is oh, so it's five tens. So 31 add 23 is 54. Let's see. Where's my tens column on this one? Is it on the fours or the two and fives? It's this one here. Well done. So this one is the ones. Let's add them together. Two add five is seven. Well done. Let's try this one. Four tens add four tens is eight tens. So my answer is 87. Let's try this one now. Our ones column is this one here. So our tens column is this column here. Eight at one is nine. One tens at five tens is six tens. So the answer is 69. Again, we can label it to help us. If you can do it without labeling the tens and the ones, you can try that as well. So one add six is seven. Seven tens add one tens is eight tens. So our answer is 87. I'm gonna try it now without 
labeling tens and ones. Four ones, add two ones, so four red two is six. Six tens, add two tens is eight tens. So our answer is 86. Four add one is five. Five tens add one tens is six tens. So it's 65. Three add six is nine. Eight tens add one tens is nine tens. So our answer is 99. Eight add one is nine. Two tens add four tens is six tens. Three add three is six. One tens add seven tens is eight tens. Well done if you've managed to get all of those correct. If you haven't, keep practicing to get better. Now, let's try our challenge. Now, remember these ones carry over. Now, six add five, let's think. I can start, I'm gonna count them from five. So it's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I'm gonna put a one, I know it's got one ten, so I'm gonna put it down here and one tens there. So I remember to carry that one tens. Three tens add two tens is five tens. And that extra one is six tens. We're gonna cross that out. So we remembered we've used it. So our answer is 61. Let's try this one. Four at eight. Well, let's start at four and we'll count on eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'll put a two in here, because there's two ones in that, and an extra one 10 in there. Two tens, add four tens is six tens. Add the extra one tens is seven tens. Let me cross it out. So our answer is 72. Let's have a look at the next one. Nine add sixes. Well, let's start at nine and count on six more. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'm gonna put the five in there because that would be in our ones column. And the one extra there, so it's 15. Five tens add two tens is seven tens. Add the extra one tens is eight tens. There we go. So our answer is 85. Well done if you've managed to get those challenge questions correct. They were very tricky. Now let's look at our very last question we have together. This is our word problem. Okay. So Sarah had 48 pounds in her piggy bank. She get, was, is given 25 pounds for her birthday. How much does she have altogether? Well, I know I've got to add because it's got the word all together. All together is another word for adding. I have, she has 48 pounds here and 25 pounds here. So I know I have to add 48 pounds to 25 pounds. Let's see if we remember how to set it out. So, Sarah had 48 pounds and she had, was given 25 pounds for her birthday. Where do I put the 25? Do I put it over here or underneath? Well done if you said underneath. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get them right. So we've got the five in the ones column under the eight and the two because it's 20 in the tens column. We're going to add it together and we're going to draw our two lines to show the equal sign. Let's try adding it together now. Far eight pounds, add five pounds. So it's eight, add five. Oh, let's remember, start at eight and we're going to count on five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we're going to put a three here and the extra 10 over here in the tens column. Four tens, add two tens is six tens. Add the extra one 10 is seven tens. So Sarah was given 73 pounds altogether. Okay, well done if you've managed to get that one correct as well.
words of reply and your place value and addition knowledge to our new method, column addition. Let's revise one more time how we do it. So we take our calculation, 21 add 35. We line up the numbers one after underneath each other, making sure we keep our tens and our ones in the same column. We add an addition symbol to the left hand side of the tens and we draw two lines underneath which represent our equal sign. First, we add up our ones. One add five is six. Then we go to our tens. Two tens add three tens. One, two, add one, two, three, put it in. Five tens. Therefore, I know 21 add 35 is 56. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like a real big challenge, go and see Miss Copper's video where she tries to apply her column addition method to three digit numbers.